Hi, welcome to this lesson on defining inner ratio. If you want to pause the lesson now, uh, I've got the key points up here on the left, and I'd like you to just pause, copy them down, and then you can resume um, so that you've got the notes and you can pay attention. Alright, assuming that you've done that, we're going to continue with this question here. Share £240 in a ratio of 3 to 5. Now what that means is, I want you to imagine we've got two people, uh, Jeff and Bill, and we're sharing £240 so that for every £3 that Jeff gets, Bill gets 5. So we've got £3, £5, £3, £5, £3, £5, until we've used up the whole amount. Now with £240, it's going to take us quite a bit of time. So mathematically, we can do this much faster. And the first step in that is to realise I need to add these numbers together for the simple reason that I need to know how much am I giving away at each point. I'm giving away three pounds and five pounds, so every time I give something away, I've given away eight pounds. So that's step number one. Now obviously, I'm going to continue doing this until I've given away 240 pounds. But an easier way of thinking that is, well, how many eights are there? in 240 pounds. So, as it says in step two, the next bit is just going to be 240 divided by eight, which gives me 30, all right? So what I've done is I've got eight and eight and eight and eight until I've got 240 pounds. So a shortcut, 240 pounds divided by eight gives me 30, all right? So that's how many times I'm going to be able to give away eight pounds. But I'm not actually giving away eight pounds. I'm giving away three pounds to Jeff, and five pounds to bill each time. So in that case, I'd simply go, well, how many threes am I giving away? Well, I'm giving away 30 threes. How many five pounds am I giving away? I'm giving away 35 pounds. 30 lots of five pounds. And that is step number three then, multiplying this number here by each number in the ratio. So that means that Jeff uh, gets 90 pounds, and Bill gets 5 times 30, which is 150 pounds. Now please note, my answer is not in a ratio format. The question is in a ratio, my answer is not in a ratio. You couldn't write, for example, 90 pounds to 150 pounds. Because mathematically, that actually doesn't make sense. So, this method here will work for a number, or, or for basically for every outcome that you, for every um, version of this question you can get. So let's say instead of three to uh, three to five, it was three to five to twelve. Obviously, then what's going to happen is this answer is going to change, and this answer is going to change, and we're going to be multiplying these by a different amount. So let's say we had Bill, uh, Jeff, and Bill and Susan, and Susan for some reason gets far more money uh, than the other two. So all we do is we follow the same process again. It's going to be 3 plus 5, and this time plus 12. So whereas we had 8, I'm now going to have 20. And so now I'm thinking, well, how many lots of 20 can I give away? And 240 divided by 20 is now going to give me 12. So I can only give away 20 12 times. So that means I'm going to have 12 lots of 3, 12 lots of 5, and this time, 12 lots of 4. So I'm just going to go 3 times 12, 5 times 12, and 12 times 12. Okay, so 3 times 12 will give me 36 pounds. That's for, uh, for Jeff. 5 times 12 will give me 60 pounds, and that's for Bill. And 12 times 12 will give me 144 pounds, and that is for Susan. Now, an easy way for me to check this, making sure that I'm right, uh, is simply to do 36 plus 60 plus 144. And if we add all that, all that up, 36 plus 144 giving me 180, plus 60 giving me the total that I was originally trying to share of 240 pounds. All right, pretty much all sharing in a ratio questions will fall into this format. There are a few differences where we uh, we don't know some of this, uh, maybe they only give us that bit, and I'll deal with those in future videos. But for the moment, make sure you've got these down, you've copied down both examples of that question, and that should be okay for your next lesson. Cheers.